Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom pin to the map view using UI interaction. That will serve as a destination point. And then I'm going to show you the route between source and destination using my previous code. The link of that previous video is attached here. So let's get started. So we have already extended some of the functions using mkmapdelegate and now we are going to extend another function that, that has the parameter view for annotation mk annotation and it will return us an mk annotation view on the map. It will help us to show the custom pin on the map after we have placed the pin using our uh, mouse or our finger in case of an iPhone. So here we are adding the add annotation function and uh, we have added some of the variables uh, which is variable annotation and lazy var geocoder. We will need both of these functions for the our add annotation function. 
so let's see what we are doing here is basically we are creating an annotation for the point that we have marked on the map but first we are going to remove the annotation that we have previously added in case uh, an annotation is added we are going to remove it first and then we are going to get the location of our, our annotation that location will help us to reverse code that location to get the name of the place mark where we have placed the point that value will be set in our search bar destination so that we know we have set the actual value so follow these steps So after that what we are doing here is basically we are adding that annotation into our map view object and after that we are going to display the path between two points but before setting the, uh, the path between two points we need to have the source location and the destination location. Source location will be selected by the search bar but for destination location we are going to place a custom pen. So here I am writing this function annotation to map item because uh, from the annotation we are going to get all the details of that place and we are going to return an mk map item which will be our destination location.
so here we are adding a ui long press gesture recognizer which will uh, recognize the long press we are going to do on our screen and that long press will place a pin on our map view using the add annotation function also there is a very important uh, thing that you need to know to run this code on simulator since we are not using our fingers as we are going to use in the case of real uh, device so uh, for the thing in place of the fingers you can press the options button and once you are going to press the option button and then you can move the mouse and the two circles will appear and you can uh, squeeze them or make them far apart to mimic the zoom in and zoom out of the map that will help us to go to any location you want to mark using your custom pen So I have run the code, but I am not able to mark the location on the map due to one reason. And I'm going to show you uh, in a few seconds. I have missed a very important line in the add annotation function, which is basically annotation dot coordinate is equals to coordinate. We have the coordinates where we have pressed the map, but we haven't set it on the annotation. So since annotation has no location, so it is not being shown on the map. So we need to add this line to make the code working. And then we are going to play the code again. So you have seen that I have set the location of London in the search bar for the search location and for the destination location I am marking a location and that will be shown in my search bar as 171 Tower Bridge Road. So this is all for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This is all for MapKit. In case you want to learn any other thing related to MapKit do post in the comment section. I am going to explore other interesting frameworks of iOS in my upcoming videos. Keep following the content and subscribe to this channel. Have a happy weekend. Goodbye.